All right, Geeks was Poppin'. We're here to talk about my top 10, not the top 10, my top 10 DC Multiverse figures of 2022. So going back to make this list, I realized that I did not open up a lot of DC Multiverse figures this year. I bought a lot. I bought like 95% of them that came out, but for some reason I just didn't get around to open them. So my list is gonna be kind of strange because there are things that I'm pretty sure if I had reviewed would be on there, like from the looks of Mongol and Man Bat. I think they would have been on my top 10 if I had opened them, but I just didn't get around to them. So bear with me. I'm going to go through these top 10, but this is only for figures that I reviewed. All right, so number 10, The Dark Knight Returns Superman from McFarlane Toys. I looked at this one and I was debating between the Mafex Superman and buying this one. And I ended up getting this one because of the Mafex Batman. We'll talk about that later. But if you have both or if you haven't seen the Mafex one, this is pretty close to it. Of course, the paint's a little bit better on the Mafex version, but man, they are close. And this dude's a little bit bigger. And the price difference, the Mafex Superman is about 90 bucks and this Superman is $19.99. So <laughs> in my book, there's almost no comparison. Now there's sometimes you just hands down can't compete with Mafex, but here I was surprised McFarlane was able to pull this one out. Number nine, Dark Knight Returns Batman from McFarlane. So I reviewed this a few days after I reviewed the Dark Knight Returns Batman from Mafex. And I was shocked because I had been eyeing that Mafex one for a while. I got the set of Batman and Robin. Now it was listed at 130. I got it on a discount somehow. I remember I had a coupon or something. So I didn't pay that much for it. So I wasn't as mad. But when I reviewed the Mafex Batman and then I reviewed this, I was shocked at just how close they were in quality. I think if you put, when you get up close, the paint deco, you can see it's a little bit better on the Mafex, but not so much that you pay uh, 80, 90 bucks difference for it. If you haven't gotten either one and you're still on the fence, I'd go with this version. All right, number eight, Swamp Thing. If you didn't watch my Swamp Thing review, I was digging him. He came with them cakes. You know, McFarlane, for some reason, the Mega Fig. Really dark open a Mega Fig and think, oh man, they really could have done a lot better than this. This is a lazy cash and da da. The Mega Figs are almost always top notch. And somebody told me one time in the comments that I should expect that because of the price point. But when you think about it, the Mega Figs are only $39.99. That's twice the price of a regular McFarlane fig. And the regular McFarlane figs are about half the size and half the plastic of the Mega Figs. I would think they would be more expensive, but they're not. I'm not gonna complain, I hope that McFarlane's not listening. Number seven, Batrocitus. This dude caught me off guard because I don't know who he is. I haven't read the comic books with him, but man, he was dope. Only one complaint I had with him. His power ring was not painted. It was sculpted into the hand in black, but there was no red paint. I guess I do it myself, I don't have a steady hand. But he's dope, his head sculpt is great. That wide open mouth, his dark evil muscles. It's just an awesome figure. I thought it was a great addition to the line. Goes well with your Blackest Night figures, even though he's not from Blackest Night. Number six, keeping in the realm of mega figs, that Titan Joker. Now the first one I bought, his limbs a little bit loose and he couldn't stand up and I still loved him. I went ahead and was able to exchange it and now he can stand up. He is awesome. The paint job on this guy is great. That glossy finish makes it look like he's really oozing some kind of slime. If you don't have this one, make sure to add it to your collection, even if you don't collect DC figures. All right, number five. So this is Hawkman from the Black Adam movie. So I was impressed with this. I got this, actually I got the whole set before I saw the Black Adam movie. And like I said before, it's the only one I opened. I didn't open anything from that way besides this one. But man, this figure was dope. I was really shocked at the paint apps on it. I love the sculpting in the wings and the color in the wings. I think this figure was well done and it's one of the top figures of the year. Bane, we're back to the mega figs. This Bane, even though he wasn't super flexible, he just was proportioned right. He came off like a big bad boy. Man, I loved his boots. I loved the paint deco. I loved the cables that were running from the back of his helmet to his arms. I think they did a good job on this one. I never built the Bane bath, but that came about two years ago from McFarlane. I heard really bad stories about it. So I'm sure people are glad that they got this more classic version. All right, number three. Now this was a tough one, putting this one low down because I love this figure. This Necron was off the chain. He looks so awesome on the shelf. Check out the pictures in my review. I think I put some pictures up on Instagram or TikTok also, but I had no complaints about this figure. The paint looked good. The head sculpt was good. I love the look he came with. Actually, I did have one complaint. I remember his weapon was a little bit loose in his hand. You can take care of that with a little bit of paper or some putty. Awesome figure. If you haven't picked it up, grab it. All right, number two, Killer Croc. What can I say? Look at him. This guy has everything, everything, everything you ask for in an action figure. And yes, another mega fig, but man, he scales well with the other DC figures and 
he's damn near perfect. He has great balance, great paint deco, great sculpting. Every collector needs this one. All right, number one, the reverse flash. When I did my review for this figure, his ankle was loose and he couldn't really stand up. And I still said it was one of the best figures the problem was put out. I went ahead and exchanged it after I did the review. The one I got has stiff ankles, can hold all sorts of poses. He's one of the more flexible DC multiverse figures. He's not stiff. That articulation is good. His head sculpt is good. The paint on him pops and all the accessories he comes with, the different lightning effects. To me, this was just the top figure. To me, this was the top figure of 2022 from McFarlane's that I opened and reviewed. I find myself going back to this one all the time, playing with it on my desk when I'm in meetings, looking at it, posing it. Love this figure. If you haven't picked this one up, I highly recommend it. All right, geeks, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications. Talk to me in the comments. What do you think of these top 10? Tell me which ones I missed out on because I didn't open a lot and I'll try and get those reviews out first. So if you open a DC figure that you think belongs in my top 10 and would bump one of these guys off, let me know and I'll get that guy open as soon as possible. All right, geeks, till next time. We out.